Here's the sad truth about beautiful women. Fellas, listen up. Just because a woman is physically attractive doesn't make her a high quality woman. Her looks can't raise your children, her mindset will. Stop wasting your sexual energy on women that you don't see yourself marrying and building a family with. We gotta build hospitals, schools, governments, and farms for our women and children to be protected. We don't have time to be having casual sex with brainless women who ain't trying to contribute to building our nation. This is the book of Proverbs chapter 31 and verse 30. Favor is deceitful and beauty is vain, but a woman that feareth the Lord, she shall be praised. I want to give all honor, all glory, and all praise unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Double honors to the elders of the nation of Israel. Shalom to you brothers out there that are laboring, enduring the elements, making your body a living sacrifice, trying to seal the elect, making your calling election assured, seeking out your own salvation. And to you sisters out there that are learning, listening, applying, being obedient to your husbands, Shalom, Shalom, okay? So uh, the title of this lesson will be called uh, Beauty is Vain, okay? You know, and um, it's, and when we say beauty is vain, you know, uh, you know, the scripture says beauty is vain. You know, I just read it here in Proverbs 31 and 30. But, uh, you know, like uh, a woman, you know, more focused on her appearance, especially like, you know, trying to maybe attract a man, you know, whether it be like makeup, which I did a lesson on this. You know, you can check it out. Lord willing, you know, that lesson uh, be edifying to you, you know, but this uh, lesson is really targeted to you, sisters, you know, uh, you know, those uh, that are, uh, you know, that, that have came back to Yahweh by Shimei Abishai, but also, you know, the, the women that are out, out there, you know, uh, you know, in the world, you know, that have not hearkened unto the men of the Lord, you know, that are out, out on the highways and hedges, you know, or doing these lessons, all right, day in and day out, okay? But, uh, you know, you're more focused on, on um, the outer appearance as far as makeup, you know, uh, you know, you're wearing uh, clothes, dressing yourself like a harlot, you know, to attract uh, men, but you're going to attract the wrong type of men, you know, because what you want, uh, especially in these last days, you know, as, you know, things are intensifying, you know, uh, you're seeing more and more women out here being uh, raped, you know, assaulted and stuff. Uh, brothers have just brought out a video where uh, an Eve got hit with a, a brick, you know, and messed her whole face up, man. And she's still out there being reckless and, and and, and not moving in, in a, a a humble type spirit, you know, she's out here cussing folk out, twerking and all kinds of madness, you know, but that's not the way to move. OK, so um, we're going to go ahead and dive into these scriptures and, and read um, the type of woman, you know, you should be in these last days. OK, this is Proverbs 31, you know, which I just read uh, verse, uh, you know, 30, but we're going to uh, jump into uh you know, we're going to go all the way up to about verse 10. It says, who can find who can find a virtuous woman? OK, for her price is far above rubies. OK, so the worth of a virtuous woman is, is uh, above uh, rubies, you know, which is a precious jewel. OK. All right. The heart of her husband doeth safely trust in her so that he ha he shall have no need of spoil. OK, she will do him good and not evil all the days of her life. You know, she's not going to seek to do him dirty. You know, she's not going to go lay with another man, you know, and, uh, bear another man's children, you know, commit adultery. She's not going to go and gossip and, and say things, you know, uh, you know, what stays in the house. You know, what goes on in the house stays in the house. She's not going to go out here and be a gossiper. And, 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 you know, if she does speak anything about, you know, uh, her man out in public, it's all going to be good, you know. And whatever issues, because, you know, no marriage is perfect. You're going to go through things, but you don't need to go out and tell your business to everybody because not everybody need to know your business. You know, you know, if you if you uh, trying to settle something, you know, amongst your uh, unless you're seeking wise counsel from maybe some righteous sisters or something, you know, maybe your man's not hearing you out. But if you got issues, then it needs to be settled amongst you, too. You know, try that first and foremost. OK. And then if not, then you could seek some type of counsel which, with, within your sisterhood, you know, righteous sisters, you know, that's not going to lead you no, no way or give you the wrong answers. OK, but she will do him good and not evil in the days of her life. She seeketh wool and flax and worketh willingly with her hands. You know, a woman that, you know, a lot of, you know, women, especially coming back in this truth, you know, they can sew and stuff. And, you know, a lot of these women uh, are using their hands today to make garments for the men, you know, go out there clothed in a set you know sackcloth you know 
the friend or putting the fringes on the clothes and all that kind of th stuff you know that's a a righteous woman and, and, and thing you know she is like the merchant's ship she bringeth her food from afar all right you know a woman that can cook oh man she rises uh rises uh also while it is yet night and giveth meat to her household and a portion uh to her maidens she considereth a field and buyeth it okay with the fruit of her hand she planteth a vineyard okay you know she she can plant and, and garden and stuff like that she girdeth her loins with strength and strengthen uh, strengtheneth her uh, arms she she perceiveth that her uh merchandise is good her candle goeth not out by night okay she layeth her hands to the spindle and, and her hands holdeth the the staff okay she stretcheth out her hands to the poor yea she reacheth forth her hands to the needy you know a woman that that is uh you know has care for others and help others out and, and stuff like that you know not a selfish woman okay she is not afraid of the snow for her for her household for all her household are clothed with scarlet okay she maketh herself coverings of uh tapestry uh tapestry if i'm saying that right her clothing is silk and purple okay her husband is known in the gates okay uh when he is set up among the elders of the land okay she make a fine linen and sell it sell of it okay and deliver girdles uh unto the merchant strength and honor are her clothing uh and she shall rejoice in the time to come she opened her mouth with wisdom okay see and, and you know one of the curses is like women have been stripped of, of wisdom okay so, you know mainly talking about those uh uh that are out here in the world you know the two-thirds uh the rebellious uh women okay the backsliding daughters of zion okay but she opened her mouth with wisdom and, and in her tongue is the law of kindness okay she looketh well to the ways of her household and eateth not the bread of idleness okay her children arise up and, and and call her blessed her husband also and he and he prays of her okay many daughters have done virtuously okay but but thou uh excellest them all wow see faith and this is what i read earlier verse 30 favor is deceitful and beauty is vain but a woman that feareth the lord she shall be praised give her of the fruit of her hands let her own works praise her in the gates okay this is how you you will want to conduct yourself this is what really makes a woman beautiful man you got to work on that inner that inner woman that you know we always talk about the inner man you and you women okay the inner woman you got to work on that first and foremost okay all right but we're going to go back to the humble beginnings here real quick this is genesis 2 and 18 this is in the lord god this is yahweh uh and the lord god said it is not good that a man should be alone all right so it's not good for a man to be alone okay you know uh i will make him a help me uh help me for him okay this is a woman that that will assist him okay you know be be at his side and, and help help him so he's not just you know burdened with doing it all on, on, uh, by himself okay you know a man have to do all the cooking and sewing and putting garments and all that together you know that's that's crazy now now in the days that we are now it is probably best that a woman a man be alone you know focus more on um on the ministry and doing the work and stuff like that but uh you know it's a blessing to really have a woman you know and it's going to be a blessing in the kingdom but a woman is to be a help me that's that's that is the uh you know the the position of a woman okay You know the scriptures tell you also in proverbs that um, a man you know he that getteth a wife you know uh he or um, a man that findeth a, a wife findeth a good thing and he also obtains the favor of the lord you know you know so uh and that's roughly paraphrasing but that's also in the book of proverbs okay but uh this is uh Sirach 36 and starting at verse 24 it says he that getteth a wife beginneth a possession okay you know how uh, you know possession that's your property all right and a woman might say i ain't no man's property you know and that's just a rebellious woman or a jezebel type spirit you know i ain't no man's property you just want to be out here you know uh you know giving yourself over to all types of men and, and wickedness and stuff like that you know when when you should be with a man you know because uh you know especially in these days he's going to make a man more precious than fine gold you know and this is not just any man this is uh the israelite man you know but but more uh 
you know, to, to break it down even more, you know, the one third, the elect, you know, the 144,000. You know, these, these uh, they're going to be precious like fine gold, okay? He that get up a wife beginning for a possession, a uh, help me uh, like unto himself and a pillar of rest, okay? And see that help, you know, you being a help to, your, to, to uh, your husband, okay? It's enough he goes out here and he has to deal with Esau, Edom, you know, uh, the perpetual hatred of Esau, you know, go on a job, work work anywhere from 8 to 10 to 12 hours a day you know five days a week maybe longer who knows you know and and, and that to deal with that and then come home and deal with uh you know not a pillar of rest but a pillar of stress you're not supposed to be a pillar of stress you're supposed to be a pillar of rest give him some type of rest from all from all that he's had in the door you know and not on, on top of esau edom you know going out on the highways and hedges and and dealing with uh the two-thirds of our people you know they cussing them out uh being scoffers and you know he had to deal with all that as well you know and then come home to a brawling woman okay you know it's uh you know the scripture says a man you know he he rather d dwell in the wilderness you know than to to uh or no it says uh well that's one scripture but uh, the other one i was thinking about is i'd rather dwell with a lion or a dragon than then keep house with, with a, a a wicked woman you know you know uh it also says you know i'd rather you know dwell on, on the rooftop you know of a house then you know keep house with a brawling woman you know a woman that's always you know arguing and and, and, and yelling and fussing you know nobody wants to go through that okay verse 25 it says where no hedge is there the possession is spoiled he that have no wife will wander up and down mourning okay it's a sad thing not to have a rib man you know you know i'm not i'm not married you know it's just me you know and um, a lot of men uh, like me, you know, they chose to be eunuchs uh, in this thing. You know, look that up, you know, uh, refrain from from dealing with, uh, you know, with a woman now now more than ever, you know, focus on the ministry, you know, trying to seal the elect, you know, because a woman would just be a distraction to, to me right now in these uh, last days. You know, I'd rather just focus on doing the, the work. And then, you know, there's the prophecy, you know, we, we speak on the MOTB, you know, that prophecy and everything. But Isaiah 4 and 1 is a prophecy, you know, and a lot of women, you know, are, are going to uh, because they don't they don't have the faith they're like like the man of the Lord do, you know. Uh, so a lot of these women, they're going to have to get that wake up call when all hell break loose. So a lot of them are going to are going to get that act right, you know, and then they're going to see, you know, they're going to be like, man, you know, those men men of the lord those guys on the highways and hedges those guys we were following on social media on youtube you know they were telling the truth you know and we took it as a joke and they're gonna some of them are gonna hark it some of them are gonna come around they might be rejected you know by men you know some of them are gonna come in you know humble meek and, and, and you know in fear you know not wanting to be uh, destroyed you know and they're gonna cleave unto the uh, men of the lord you know, and that's a prophecy, Isaiah 4 and 1. You know, you can look that up on your own time, okay? But uh, this is Jeremiah 31 and 22. says, how long will that go about, O thou uh, backsliding daughter? For the Lord hath created a new thing in the earth. A woman shall compass a man. And, and that's one of the things that happened. Uh, uh, you know, plus the curses of Deuteronomy where the uh, woman will have an evil eye towards, uh, you know, her husband. And, you know, the seed, you know the uh you know her children her, her son and daughters you know and, and this is a curse you know i've i've felt the effects of this curse you know you know the you know uh stuff that i had to deal with growing up you know my parents and things like that you know and it makes a lot more sense when you see the scriptures now and you're like man now that's why i went through what i went through you know with my parents you know i went through a lot of hell you know and uh that's all part of the curses but uh you know, a woman compassing a man, like, you know, our women have uh, enjoyed, um, you know, uh, they have enjoyed this rulership, this kingdom, you know, that's, that is ruled by uh, the wicked, Esau, Edom. You know, they have benefited off of it, you know, uh, and, and oppressing uh, Jake, making life harder on Jake than, than everything, you know, than, than it already is, you know. So... <laughs> You know that's not that's not a that's not a righteous woman. That's not a Proverbs uh, thirty-one woman. You know that's not a way to conduct yourself. You know.
treating the Israelite man like dirt and stuff like that. And, and that's going to be a lot of you. A lot of you women that have done that. A lot of the Israelite men are, are going are gonna to remember you, you know, they're going to remember you, you know, and all that you've done. OK. You know, another thing, you know, just showing you about the beauty and the beauty uh, and how it's uh, it's vain. This is uh, the book of Sirach, chapter 26, verse 9. It says, the whoredom of a woman may be known in her haughty looks and eyelids. Okay? And I, like I said, I did a lesson on makeup and stuff like that. But, you know, uh, a lot of times when women put so much makeup on and, and stuff like that, uh, they, they, they're trying to use that to attract a man, you know? And, um, and then also, sometimes that makeup, they put that makeup on and it make them look a certain way. But when they take it off, they look nothing like, you know, how they did with the makeup on, you know, which that's kind of like this. That's deception, you know, sorcery, witchcraft, you know, because you look in a certain way. And that man might be thinking like, oh, man, she look good. And then when she take all that off and you see her and she like a whole different person, you know, and you're like, whoa, you know, <laughs> you know, like, man, she she look hideous, you know. But some women look good without the makeup. You know what I'm saying? They got that natural look. And I, I like that about a woman, you know, that they don't have to put all that makeup on. Now, I ain't saying that you can't put nothing on, but, you know, you, you want to be mindful of that. Like I said, it affects, you know, your skin and stuff. But again, it says the whoredom of a woman may be known in her haughty looks and eyelids. Okay? You know, women like that could be snares and traps into a man. All right? You know, 2 Corinthians chapter 6 and verse 17, it says, Wherefore, come out from among them and be ye separate, saith the Lord, and touch not the unclean thing, and I will receive you. Okay? So you're supposed to come up from among them, from these other nations. You know, don't do what their women do, uh, and don't do what the two-thirds do, you know, because they, they're in a uh, Gentile state of mind, you know. Us coming back into this truth, we're coming back into who we are, our heritage. You know, be the daughters of Zion, be those, uh, those meek, humble uh women you know what i'm saying that that have worked on the inner woman okay and touch not that unclean thing you know don't don't you know let go of that wine don't touch that wine no more that that has made the whole world drunken you know okay stop being um you know harlots you know stop being wicked you know stop treating your men like like garbage you know It's all about working on that inner woman, for real, you know. But the outer appearance, yes, you know, you also want to, you know, carry yourself a certain way. You know, on the outside, you know, you work on the outside, but you, it starts from the inside first. You know, remember, ye are the temples uh, of Yahweh. you know. This is Judah chapter uh, 10, verse 19. And they wondered at her beauty and admired the children of Israel. And these other nations, they admired us, you know, just by looking at our women admired the children of Israel because of her and everyone said to his neighbor who would despise this people to have among them such women okay but this is you know uh, you conducting yourself in righteousness you know right now you're looked down on um, amongst these nations you know they look at our people and they're like uh 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 they just shake their heads you know looking at the style you know the uh the way that you uh conduct yourselves in these days you know being harlots and thoughts and and all that type of stuff man all types of wickedness surely it is not it is not good that one man of them be left who uh being let go might deceive the whole earth all right you know but uh you know you want to uh dress a certain way and, and you know with mentioning that you know i want to go to first timothy uh verse two uh or chapter two verse nine okay salakia all right, in like manner also that women um, adorn adorn themselves in modest apparel. So you want to dress, you do want to, uh, like that, when you're working on the outer, you want to dress a certain way, you know. Don't wear what would pertain unto a man, you know. Uh, you know, a lot of these women now, they, you know, they become what they call, what, dykes and stuff. You know, you want to dress, you want to look like a man and stuff. Some of y'all uh, cut all your hair off and have haircuts like, 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 a, uh, like a man. And just all kinds of madness, man. But you want to, you know, you want to let your uh, your light show, you know. And, and ways of doing that is, like I said, first for, foremost, working on the inner you, and then you know, you then you begin to uh, 
work on that outside, you know, and, and that's, you know, you want to dress a certain way, okay, adorn themselves in modest apparel with shamefacedness, okay, you know, the scripture says also, you know, a shameless woman will be counted as a dog, okay, and we all know what a female dog is, that's pretty much a bitch, all right, you know, excuse my French, but, you know, uh, you know, you want to, um, you want to be shamefacedness, okay, in sobriety, not with braided hair or gold or pearls or costly array, all right, Verse 10, okay, but which become of women professing godliness with good works, okay, so with good works, and you know, I read in, in Proverbs 31, you know, uh, I went down the uh, down the list of, of, of ways, you know, how she's going to um, conduct herself, you know, good works, okay, let the woman learn in silence with all subjection, okay, so you're not, you're not going to want to be, you know, you know, you know, the scriptures tell you that the tabernacle of uh, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is with men. Okay, so you're not trying to buck up. You know, we see that a lot in Israel, how women are trying to uh, buck up to, to the order and to the men of the Lord. You know, women trying to talk over men and they trying to teach the nation when it's supposed to be the man that does it. You know, a woman's supposed to teach, uh, you know, the younger women and, 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 and children, you know. You know, while the man is out here laboring on the highways and hedges, you know, you're supposed to uh, go out, you know, you, you know, you're, you're keepers at home, right? You're supposed to be teaching, um, teaching other uh, women, you know, and children, you know, you're not supposed to be out here trying to teach the men and stuff like that. That's, that's going off. All right. So if you are amongst the congregation, you know, of, of men, you know, you're going to uh, learn in silence, okay? Don't be on, like, the YouTube channels of, of the men of the Lord and, and and you just being all vocal, you know? You know, it's, it's okay to come on there and ask a question or it's okay to uh, give a shalom and stuff like that. But, you know, you want to, um, you know, watch how you conduct yourself on there and the men of the Lord will check you, you know? And women don't may not like that, but, you know, you ain't supposed to be doing that, all right? So again, let the woman learn in silence with all subjection, okay? You know, and I was bringing some of this out already, but, uh, you know, I'm going to bring out, uh, you know, this goes more into detail, all right? And then I'll end it on this, okay? And Lord willing, this was edifying, all right? You know, this is just one of those, uh, you know, I came across a video clip and it just made me want to bring out some other information. But this is the book of Titus, chapter 2, and I'm going to start at verse 3. It says, the aged woman likewise that they be be in behavior as become of holiness okay you know and um being holy is also be, to be set apart okay not false accusers okay you're not out here uh false accusing you know um i've seen things and i'm gonna bring out another lesson here uh lord willing soon but i saw a case where uh, a jake uh he ended up killing his wife but uh one of the things that was brought out was that he uh supposedly he he was uh you know he was on the down low he was messing with men and she was exposing him so he ended up killing her for that you know i don't know if that's true or not but uh one of the things i noticed amongst uh a lot of eves is that if uh if a, uh, a jake don't want, want don't want a certain eve they'll say things like oh he's gay you know they'll tell tell the lies you know i've had that actually done to me back in the world you know uh it was this real heavy set female and she was like like maybe like four or five hundred pounds I, I'm, I'm not kidding you she's huge man like a hippo and she she was trying to force herself on me like trying to be with me and i was trying to be nice i'm not you know i don't want to say like oh you know i'm not really into heavy heavy set women you know you know and then they'll get mad you know but uh i uh was trying to just be nice and, and just be like you know you know you don't not really interested or whatever next thing you know they get mad and then they want to say things like you know oh well he must like dudes you know and then they want to tell uh they want to spread that rumor and, and people will believe it you know they'll believe a woman you know when she says you know and then they'll go on it and, and cause rumors to go out and i've had that done to me before man so you know, that's why, you know, this is why it says not false accusers, you know, um, you know, when you uh, bear a false witness, that that's a heavy thing, 
you know? And women can get judged for that. And the woman that, that did that to me, she's dealing with a sickness now. She got, uh, I, I believe it's leukemia, if I'm not mistaken, you know? And she's even bigger than what she was back then, you know, because she, she, she came at me like that, you know? And now she's being, uh, she got leukemia, man. And this is why it's very careful how you conduct this stuff. And she hasn't changed one bit. You know, I hear that she's still like a real, like, uh, wicked Eve, man. You know, but she was heavy set, and I was really just trying to be nice. And, you know, sometimes when you're being nice, they take that as, oh, you like them, you know. And I'm like, no, you know, it's not, not that. And so she, you know, was trying to start a rumor on me, you know. And, and that's why you got to be very, very careful, man. Um, you know, how you conduct yourselves, women out here. Don't be false accusing. You know, you got women that have said men have put hands on them to get men locked up, you know, domestic violence and stuff like that. It's a lot of wickedness that goes on, you know, so not false accusers. All right. Not giving, not giving too, too much wine. Okay. And uh, teachers of good things. Okay. So you're supposed to be teaching good things. Don't teach people to go off. Don't teach uh, other women, you know, to be uh, whores and, and um, rebellious into their husbands and stuff. Okay, and it says that they may teach the young women. See, this is why I said you're supposed to teach you teach other women, women to be sober, to love their uh, husbands, and to love their children. Okay, to be this is verse five to be discreet, chas keepers at home. See what I'm saying? Good, good, not evil. Good, obedient to their own husbands, that the word of God be not blasphemed. Okay, so this is the way you should conduct yourselves. All right, in these last days. All right, and I hope I didn't ramble on. Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. I want to give all honor, all glory, and all praise unto Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakodash. Double honors to the elders of the nation of Israel. And shalom to you, brothers and sisters out there. Until the next one, shalom.